In this video, we'll look for the text related functions. Let's see those one by one. On your screen, if you see, I have some data here given here. So usually in the company, if you go, you'll find this kind of data where if you see the data is in the capital letter in small case, whether there are extra spaces, whether there are no spaces. So that time, how do you find out? How do you get your data properly done? So if you see here, there are unwanted spaces between two words, unwanted spaces before you start a word. So how do I remove the unwanted spaces? For removing an unwanted spaces, I have a function known as trim. So trim will remove that. So how do I use it? I'll use a function known as trim equal to trim bracket open and I'll select the text. That's it. So once I press enter and I'll get this answer. So if you see the unwanted space before this last zero one has been removed and it has been given here. Similarly, if I want this function for the entire row, what I can do is I can just drag it like this or else what I can do is until I get this doctor symbol, if I get this doctor symbol, I have to just double click on it. So if you have thousands of cells in which you have the data, the function will be copied everywhere. So that's the beauty of this thing. Next we have proper. What exactly proper says is every alphabet of each word should be capital or more specifically first alphabet of every word should be capital. So that is the proper case. So I'll use the function same as proper equal to proper and I'll select the text. Why I'm selecting this text because it is already trimmed. So I don't have to take an effort to bring it back. So I'll just select this B10 and press enter. So once I press enter, the first alphabet of every word will be capital, rest all will be of small case. Similarly, if I want to use this in the entire column, so I'll just double click on it and you see everywhere the first alphabet is capital, rest all are small case. Next, if I want the upper case, now it is in the proper case, I want in the upper case. So I'll use a similar function that is equal to upper and I'll select the text. So all the letters which are written here will be in the caps lock, enter and similarly I'll just double click on it. Same way if I want lower case, I'll put as lower select the text and close the bracket enter and double click it. So this way I've got all the lower case. Next I have something known as length len. So length is function which is used to calculate length of the text. It includes your spaces also. So I'll use your function as equal to len bracket open and I'll select this text. So when I press enter I'm getting the length as 11 characters. So for this two, the length would be 11. For the other one, if you see the length would exceed. So I'll just select this and double click on it. And if you see the characters are there. So if you see here 15, so 15 is including the two spaces and the all alphabets. So this way you can get the length of the text. So these are some basic functions. Let's see some more advanced functions here, which I have. That is left, right, mid and concatenate. The first one, I've just written a text as tutorials and point separate text. Now left is the function which is used to get the leftmost characters. So I can use this functions. If I want the T alphabet that is the capital letter, I can use this left function. So this formula is simple equal to left and I'll select the text. So once I press enter, I'll get the capital letter T here. What if I want? I want three alphabets from left. So again, I have to use the similar function that is equal to left. That is the text comma. And if you see here the square brackets, that is number of characters in previous function, I have not used it, but in this function, I can just type here three. So I'll get three characters from left. So you see T U T I've got the answer. Similarly, if I want rightmost three characters, I can go with this function as right equal to right bracket open comma three. Okay. The parameters are same and function is right. So I'll press enter. And if you see the last three characters is A L S I've got it. All right. Next I have, if I want some middle text in inside the tutorials. So what I can do is the function is a bit difficult or you can say it's a bit lengthy. So I'll type here equal to mid. So it will give me more parameters. One is for text, start number and number of characters. So the text is tutorials. So I'll select this text comma. It will ask me, what is your start number? Do you want to start from first, second, third? So I'll say, I want to start from third because we are working on the function as mid. So I'll type here three. So alphabet will start from three from third alphabet. How many characters you want? So I'll say I want, let's say three characters. So I'll put as three. So three comma three. So I'll get the answer as T O R. So once I close the bracket and enter, so I'll get the answer as T O R. 
So this way you can get the left, right and mid characters using all the functions. Similarly, if you see on the top in J2 and J3, in J7 and K7, I have tutorials point. What if I want to concatenate this two text using a function? So I can use this function as concatenate. The function is very very simple. You have to just type the same thing equal to concatenate. Equal to concatenate text1, comma text2. So if you see here text1, comma text2. So I'll select this text1, comma text2. And I'll close the bracket. So I'll get the answer as tutorials point. Now you might be expecting there is no space between these two words. So how do I go for it? So if you want a space between these two words, what you have to do is you have to use this equal to concatenate. That is the text one comma and the second text will come in double quotes. That is a space like this comma and the third text will become this K7 and I'll press enter. So tutorial space and the point that will come here and I'll press enter. See the difference between this tutorials and this tutorial space point. So space is also counted as a word when you use inside the function. Next we have something known as find, search and replace. Let's see for find. I'll write here a text as Mumbai and I want to find the position number. Find and search it will give you the position number of the alphabet in the text. I want to find the position number of M inside Mumbai. That is a small m. So I'll type here equal to find small m within this text and I'll close the bracket. So here if you see, if you observe that's the third character. So when I press enter, I'll get the answer as three. So find is used to give the position number. Same if I use for search, no difference. Same if I use for search small m comma in the Mumbai and close the bracket. Now you might be expecting answer as three, but I'll tell you search is not a case sensitive i am expecting small m but it will give me the position number of capital m so when i press enter it will give me the answer as one so find is case sensitive whereas search is not case sensitive so whenever you want to go for advanced formulas if you use nested formulas go for find right next we have something known as replace let's see what is replace suppose in this point in this text point if i want to replace some text so i can use this function for replace so let's see how we can use it. So it says few parameters. One is old text. That is my old text comma. What is the starting number you want to replace? So I'll say let's say starting number is three from I, I want to replace comma. How many number of characters you want to replace? So I want to replace I N T for example, or I'll replace only two I N and comma. It will ask what is the new text you want instead of I N. Do you want something else? So instead of I N, I want three times A. So I'll use here a function as equal to replace old text, sorry, old text comma. The start number is three comma. I want to replace two characters comma. As I said, start position is three. Number of characters is two. I want to replace I N with triple A. So I'll just type in double quotes triple A. The reason I have put in double quotes because it is a text. If it was a number, I can ignore the double quotes. So once I press enter, I will get the answer as P O triple A T. So you see here P O A P O triple A T. So this way you can replace any text within a text with a new text. Right. Next we have something known as substitute. So if you observe here, there is a given as text as Mumbai. I want to replace the word alphabet Mumbai with let's say capital uh, letter K. So I can use this substitute option here. So substitute equal to substitute and it says as the text comma what is the old text you want to replace. So I'll say I want to replace the alphabet M comma what is the new text you want inside this text. So I want to replace it with alphabet K. That's it. So I can use this three parameters. So this is the text inside this I want to take replace the M alphabet with K alphabet. So once I press enter, so you see the small case M is replaced by the alphabet K. So M U K B I Sumukai, all these options will get it. So this is the formulas which you have seen functions for the text. I hope you understood for proper upper lower and all these options. That's all for this video.